Hey guys, what's up? My name is Anthony and welcome to another edition of BNA Sports Talk. So about every month I do a State of the Yankees post where um, I, I'm a Yankees fan and my dad was born and raised in the Bronx. I was born and raised a Yankees fan. I uh, asked my dad after I got home on the bus, people were debating whether Mets or Yankees fans. I'm like, wait, what? What's a bait? You know, I didn't really know a lot about sports. I went home, I was in first grade and I told my dad, are we Mets or Yankees fans? He said we're Yankees fans, so I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm a Yankees fan. But I've been... You know, following the Yankees since around 2007, and uh, every month or so, I I give you the state of the Yankees. Now, the the trade deadline obviously just came and went, and a lot of Yankees fans are pissed. Now, what I hate about Yankees fans is that we're like, oh, just secure a championship, uh, uh, you know, confirm a championship. Uh, there's a word I'm trying to find, like guarantee. That's the word, guarantee a championship. Okay, there's nothing that the Yankees could have done to guarantee a championship. Their games that have to be played if anything the Yankees biggest weakness and not starting pitching is their lineup I think they need some more lefties I think Brett Gardner is a great addition to this a lefty right we need more lefties in this lineup if anything that's what we needed uh Brian Cashman did not want to spend over overly spend on anybody I know you can say we're the New York Yankees we can pay for it no that's not a good way to go down just paying for flaws like inherent flaws in your team isn't good just look at the Yankees right now we are 70 and 39 after today's win against the Red Sox remember when we lost three games against the Red Sox and it seemed like the world is over Yankees fans are too overreactive you know every team goes through bad periods and stretches Every single team. Now, the Yankees' uh, um, starting pitching ERA has gone down month after month after month because they can't stay healthy. And the main problem is for the Yankees, we need to stay healthy as a starting rotation into the playoffs. And that's pretty much it. We need to secure that first seed. I don't want to play the Astros four times in the ALCS if we get there. I don't want to play them four times at, at away at the Minute Maid Park. I don't want to have to play... You know, the away. That's not the way the Yankees roll. That vibe in the Yankee Stadium, it's great. The Yankees' bats always come up and show up in the playoffs. Uh, and sometimes they're completely dead. And that's that's the main problem with the Yankees. You can solve bad pitching with great bats. And people don't realize that. Uh, the Yankees, they can put up 10 on you real quick. Uh, with You know, we saw that today. They had seven runs in just the middle of nowhere. You have DJ LeMay, who's apologetic for not hitting home runs. He had two today. But he's like, oh, I'm so sorry. I wasn't hitting home runs. No, we need that. We need guys to get on base. And he's the perfect guy for, you know, for the first up. I think that uh, if Mike Trout wasn't playing so well, we'd be talking about him for the MVP. And, uh, yeah, Mike Trout is just playing out of his mind. He was my preseason MVP pick. I know it's kind of bold and I picked Mike Trout for MVP, but I'm like, you know, I thought the Angels would honestly play a little bit better this year, but it, that doesn't really matter. So the state of the Yankees, we're doing good. Um, it, we need to stop overreacting. We're 70 and 39. Just think about that. You know, we're on pace for 103, 104 wins. We haven't done that since we won the championship in 2009. In 2009, they were saying... Oh, you know, the Yankees didn't make any moves at the deadline. What are we doing? And we ended up winning the World Series that year. Uh, then we were paying Alex Rodriguez, Derek Jeter, hundreds of millions of dollars. But now this year, it has the same kind of vibe. We're playing as a team. We trust trust the team together. We don't need anybody. You know, I always say the team starts to deteriorate when you feel like you need things. It's like, oh, all we need is this. All we need is that. No, you're perfect the way you are. Just go through adversity through yourself. I mean, there are 162 games in the season. Of course you want depth. What are we going to get? Another, you know, another Jay Happ or another uh, Paxton, James Paxton? I mean, we already have those guys on the roster. We already have them. And uh, we we know what we're going to get out of them. There, we're, we're, we're a team that shouldn't overpay for guys anymore now i disagree with the one cent over we don't pay them there's something to be said about you know paying to secure guys new york is not made for everybody and you could you could have messed this thing up but things are going well we're gonna get luis severino back remember that guy luis severino we're gonna get him back Uh, jordan montgomery might come back cc well I, i honestly i just think we should rest him until the playoffs at this point but obviously we need him to get get a couple more starts to give us our guys a little bit more rest, like Masahiro Tanaka. You would like to have him six days in between starts, but I, I get that. But you look up and down this roster, 
And there's a reason why we've won the most games out of anybody in the league so far this year. Just because we go on a three, four game losing streak does not mean the world's over. It doesn't mean everything's over. We can go through a bad stretch of pitching, but our offense is going to need a click in the playoffs. Our offense is going to need a click, and we've had that experience. I'm confident in the Yankees. Um, I, I just think that we need home field advantage. Uh, the past couple years, we've been spurned by going to the Fenway Park. We just suck at Fenway Park. As much, I, I, I just don't want to play in Minute Maid. I don't want to play at Fenway. I don't want to play anywhere but New York, uh, New York in the Bronx, where we could just rake. Uh, the the state of uh, everyone else. Aaron Hicks is doing well. Burt Gardner went three for four today. Every day it feels like somebody's stepping up. Gary Sanchez is a little concerning for me. I wish he wasn't going to get that uh, much injured. I, I wish he stayed healthy. Uh, but he's been playing well this year. And Carnacion is driving in a couple runs. You know, this team just needs to stay hot, stay the course. You don't need anybody. And the Yankees fans make me sick. It's just like, oh, um, we, we, need, we need this guy. We need that guy. Buy him. Just pay for him. You know, there's a certain character that can fit in New York. We see that with we bring in a couple guys like Sony Gray, and they just don't fit in New York, and they need a change of scenery. You know, there's something to be said about a group of guys who are just trust each other and just play to win, not not play to... Oh, let's see if we can get that. Let's not play fantasy and numbers. Let's play baseball. And that's ultimately what it comes down to. Let's play baseball. Let's not worry about all these stats and all these numbers. Let's just go with the guys that we have. Chapman has struggled a little bit over the past couple of days, but it looks like he's uh, getting it together. LeMahieu went through a week or two of some struggles, and that's the ebbs and flows of the games. Let's not overreact to anything. Uh, Aaron Judge went for like a 1-20 in streak. He's He's back fine now. But... The, this team is great. The only problem with this team, I say, is Giancarlo Stanton. It, if, if you could just trade him. Let's say the Reds. Get you know, you trade him to the Reds. Get a get a great pitcher, or trade him to a certain team. Uh, even pay half of the contract. And I don't know why we joined that contract. I was always skeptical of it. I, I just I don't like it. I don't even care if he's the A Rod this season and he comes in late season, postseason heroics and gets ten home runs in the postseason. I don't care. I've always been skeptical of Giancarlo Stanton. He has a weird swing. He's he's from Miami. Don't know what have this that has to do with anything. But yeah, the State of the Yankees is is good. We're in first place in the AL uh East by like eight and a half uh, games. We're half a game behind the Astros. I think we're tied with them now. I don't know. And we're going to, in the first round, most likely, we're going to play the wild card team, which is going to be the Twins or the uh, Cleveland Indians, who we've owned over the past couple years. You know, the only two teams that we've struggled against are the Astros and the Red Sox. And uh, either or, we're going to have to face the Astros. And they have a great starting rotation, and we know that. So what's a great way to counter great starting rotations with uh, Miley, with Furlander, with Granke, and everyone else who they have is hitting. If we can... Aaron Judge sucks against the Astros. Don't know what it is, but you know he doesn't really play well against them. We need hitting, and we need everyone to be healthy. We need this lineup to go against their pitching, and our pitching just needs to hang in there. I don't care if Tanaka lets up five and six innings. If you can score more, that that's it. And then I know when we put in our closers, the game's over. Our, our closers are great. We're going to get the Patances back. Just think of we're not healthy yet. This is a great roster constructed over years. And we don't need a start. We 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 were good. Uh, if we, if we would got Stroman, I would have been happy with it. But let's not reach for a Robbie Ray, a Matt Boyd, a Mike Miner. We don't know. We don't know if they fit. We don't know if they're good. You know, it, it's it just is what it is. People were not in the conversation. People act like they were in the room negotiating, and people act like they're they're a be all and end all. They know everything and they overreact. Come on, this is this is baseball. There's no such thing as guaranteed championships. If you can guarantee a championship, why do you think? Teams don't guarantee championships all the time. You know, it's, it, there wasn't that peace this year, especially with the Yankees, to secure a championship. The Astros, no, they're the favorites now, but do you think they secured a championship? No, no one's saying that. So, you know, the game still have to be played, and I'm confident in the Yankees. So I uh, hope you guys enjoy this video. These Yankees videos are not really that structured. They're kind of like just like rambling about them. Hope you guys enjoy, and uh, yeah, let me know your opinions about the Yankees. If you're a Yankees fan, if you hate them, Anything and everything will be appreciated, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.